that just happened here in Tubman City, Baltimore, at the Samuel Coldridge Elementary School. I would like to know, Dr. Welsing, um, what kind of movement, is there any movement that actually exists today? Like we have the Civil Rights Movement, we know about the UNA, UNIA, Pan-Africanist Movement, things like that. Is there any type of movement that exists today for our people? Well, I would say the movement that I think that we as black people need to be in and a part of is understanding racism, white supremacy, as a total system construct. I mean, we're not moving with an analysis of the, what, of the problem. And so therefore, we go from event to event. You see one killing to the next killing, mm -hmm. one to the next killing, and we protest. All of that is important, but for us to move forward, we have to take the analysis as to why it was happening and speak to that. You see, not yes. be deterred by people who classify themselves as white saying you're playing a race card. That's right. See, the answer is the whole thing hmm. is race. You see, there's never been a point in our five year history of this area that race, white supremacy was not the issue. That's right. And so we are challenged to move with the goal objective, the agenda is to deal with the reality of racism and white supremacy as a system for white genetics and that the goal objective being we are going to help replace racism and white supremacy with the system of justice right. mm -hmm. so there can be peace on the planet. Mm -hmm. Excellent. Now, I understand that as an adult. I understand that as somebody who has read her book, The ISIS Papers. This is one of the first books that I read. I went to Clark Atlanta University. This book changed my life. It really did. I have two daughters. I would like to know, for the youth, what is something that you could tell somebody who's 16 and somebody that is 9, what they should be doing for race pride today? Well, first of all, I think that children can understand that there is a problem of racism. People attempt to teach children and young children that because they are black, they are not beautiful. And that because they're black, they're second to somebody else. And so our message to children of very early ages is that you are black and you are beautiful and you are wonderful and you are part of the first people on the planet. And even though we have been oppressed as a people, we are going to use our creativity, our genius, and talent to correct, to correct the problem of, of racial injustice, racism, white supremacy on the planet. You see, and that's why we encourage our children to be smart and to learn and to take school seriously and plan to be in school for 25 years and making mm. up their minds about what they're going to study and how they are going to contribute to our people. Like my parents raised us, you're going to go to college, but you are not going to college to escape your community. Mm. You're going to college so that you can learn and you can contribute to the problems that our people face. Mm. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. See, the message is clear. It's about uplifting humanity, not only for the adults, but also for the children. Go to college, get your education, whatever you have to do, make sure you bring it back home to the people. This is Abundance Child, Dr. Francis Cuff Wealthy. Thank you very much. All right. <laughs>